Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent, and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hi, Mrs. Lita here with Heroes with Spartan Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. In today's lesson, we're talking about graduated containers. We're going to talk about, um, look at some containers. And if you were a part of yesterday's lesson, you had a chance to look at some little buckets. We're going to be using that today. I still have these unit measurements on the board in case you need to uh, review that. Um, we will not be talking so much about that today. But there was one other um, additional measurement I wanted to put here on the board just so you know. 10, uh, if you want to know how many centiliters, CLs, are in one liter, then you're just going to multiply these two, 10 liters, 10 times 10, that'll get you 10 times 10, it'll, it'll make the centiliters equivalent to the liters, 10 times 10, you know the answer to this if you uh, were paying attention to our multiplication uh, class many, many months ago, but 10 times 10 is... It is 100. Therefore, there are 100 centiliters for every one liter. Okay. I want you to, to know that in case you find yourself measuring uh, centiliters in the future and you want to want a point of reference. Liters are always a good point of reference. But that being said, let's talk about measuring. But we're gonna stick with milliliters. Milliliters is the most common of all um, these on the board, especially at this grade level. You find yourself measuring using milliliters uh, just about as much as, you, as liters. Liters and milliliters are most common. Centiliters and deciliters, not as common, but still important to be familiar with, okay? So we have two containers here. If you came to class yesterday, you had a chance to talk with uh, me and spend some time learning about the inscription on these buckets. Each of these lines represent a point of me uh, reference to the uh, quantity that this particular bucket can hold, the capacity level. If you look very closely, this is 100, 100 milliliters. This is 200, 300, 400. Okay, so it stops at the 400 line. But what I want to show you is what we're measuring usually is going to be a, a fluid. And this, we've measured it to the 100 line. So this presently has 100 milliliters of water. Isn't that kind of cool? It gives you a chance to see about what 100 milliliters look like. That's all. That's, that's all 100 milliliters look like. If you wanted to compare, you could, what 100 milliliters look like to something like, let's say 50. So on this side, I'm gonna pour about 50 milliliters, which is gonna be half that amount. If you look very closely, you'll see this line here. That's for the 50, just half of the 100. We're gonna pour until we get to the 50, right about there. And as you can see with this big 100 and this side being 50, 100 is greater, that quantity is greater, so it's going to be heavier on this side. But if I continue to pour and try to get this water up to the 200 point, 
or so let's see if we can firstly make it equal. Okay, is that about equal to some degree? Maybe this one has slightly more. But if we get this, try to get this up to 200 milliliters. Ah, so now this bucket has twice as much water or fluid as this one. This one has 200 milliliters. This one is filled to 100 milliliters. I want you to see what those differences look like. So the one here is 100 milliliters. This was 200. And that's about what the quantities look like if you were to see them. Um, and now you have an idea as to what 100 and 200 milliliters look like, milliliters of water, any kind of fluid look like. So that whenever you're pouring yourself a glass of water and you can look at it and say, oh, this is about 250 milliliters. Or you say, oh, this is about 500 milliliters. Or you may say, this is only about 25 milliliters. I just need to take a quick drink of water or something like that. Isn't that kind of cool? Okay, take time also if you have some of these little containers or maybe some buckets or maybe some other some other graduated container, take time out and practice with them. It'll prepare you for classes like uh, science and higher level mathematics. Thank you so much for joining with me today. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do we. Until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born, I will be 